Hi, Kitty Patoots. So it's me, Doodle. How are you? Um, so I've had a few people ask me about recoloring um, meshes for The Sims. Um, basically, that's if you want to put a picture inside a frame and you don't know how to do it. So I wanted to show you um, how to basically recolor anything that you want to do. Um, sorry if you hear my cat uh, on the <laughs> on the cat tower. Um, but let's let's just uh, head on in. Okay, so. You're gonna need a few things in order to do this. One, you're gonna need The Sims 4 Studio, which um, you can find a download online and I will also link it down below. Um, and then you'll also need some sort of um, either paint.net, uh, GIMP or Photoshop. Um, paint.net is very simple to use, it's free. And so I actually use it a lot, but most people, I never hear people recommend it, um, but I'm just letting you know that that's what I use. Um, but anyway, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to object um, right here in the center and you're going to do standalone recolor and press object and go ahead and head in. Now, let's say you want to add a picture. Um, you want to add a picture to a frame. So we'll just choose a basic frame. You'll click this and you'll press next. Then you're going to name that. OK, so what you're going to do is you're going to name it what you want it to be. So let's say I want to make it a picture of Keely. So I say Keely picture and then I save, and then it'll save to my desktop. Um, as soon as that's up, you're gonna see this, all right? All you're gonna need to do in order to change this out is you're gonna wanna go over here where it says catalog and go to the next tab and click, te click texture, pardon me. Click texture and you're gonna see these different textures. Now, each of these textures do something different. The diffuse is basically the actual color of the object. The normals are where the shading will be and the specular map is where the like shine will be. Now what you're going to do is you're going to want to export your diffuse and we're going to name that EA frame. That way we know exactly what it is. You know, it's the EA frame. Then you're going to want to pull it up in paint. So let me grab paint.net. At least this is what I do. If you have Photoshop, it's probably better. And I go open and then I find my EA frame. Here it is. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to say open and I'm going to find a picture that I want to add. So let's say instead of Keely, I'm going to add these cutie patoots. OK, now this picture is very large compared to this. This image is 512. I'm going to bring this down to let's just say 300. Let's bring this down to 300. All right. And you're just going to once again, add it in. Now you're going to see that this is a little bit too big for this, but that's OK. I'm going to make it small. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I am going to erase all of this. And I'm going to do just kind of like a very bare minimum. You know, I'm just trying to show you how to do this. So I'm not you know, I'm not going to worry too much about quality. I'm I'm just going to literally just go in here. I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to copy. I'm going to get rid of all these little areas. And this is not going to be perfect by any means um, because I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm just trying to show you how to do it. So I'm going to just I'm just going to make it look like that. There's still some edges, but what? whatever, it's OK. So we're going to merge that down and we're going to make this one file. We're just going to make it. We're going to save it as a PNG, save as PNG. And I'm just going to say the girlies PNG. Save it to my desktop. Now what you're going to do after you've saved just this little file on your desktop, you're going to go back in here and you're going to import that picture into here. So the girly. Now you've got a perfect little cute recolor. You didn't have to use Blender. You didn't have to create a whole brand new mesh. You just created your own little picture and you can do that with anything. So like, for example, if I wanted to change this frame, then I could go in here. Let's just say I wanted to make this frame a different color, right? And I, can, I wanted to change the hue. Literally, you can change anything. You can add dots to it. You can do whatever you want. And this is going to look a little stupid. But for example, let me just show you. I'm going to do I'm just going to add some zigzags all over this frame, all over the frame. I want zigzags all over the frame. Once again, I'm saving it and I'm going to import that. Wow, zigzags all over the frame. You can change anything. Please keep in mind that if you're doing a recolor, the texture will be the same. Um, and by that, I mean that the normal and the specular map will be the same. So, for example, if you recolor this whole thing, the texture will still be there. All of these textures right here will still be there. So keep that in mind if you're doing 
a, a full recolor of the whole thing. But either way, yeah. And then what you'll do is you'll save it. Save. Your, your package has been saved. Now, that package that we first made, Keely Picture, it is on your desktop. Keely Picture now looks like this. Now, there were a couple things that I forgot to do when I recorded the first time, so let me just show you. So one, I went ahead and because I had deleted what I had previously made, like the picture of the girlies, um, I went ahead and I just opened one of my old projects. So um, something you're going to want to do, number one, is you're going to want to go back. Once you leave textures, you're going to want to go back to catalog. Um, and this is where you're going to name your product. So you're going to go here. And for example, I put doodle DS DSC artist shelf. Now that is what you're going to see in game. It does not matter what your package is named um, previously. Whatever you see here will change the um, the name inside the game. Then you're going to put your description and your price. Make sure you do that and then save. That way you'll be able to search for your item in game. Um, the next thing that I need to mention is the package that I was talking about that is now on your computer, um, which initially was Keely's package or Keely. Keely's package. <laughs> okay, was Keely's picture. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, uh, Keely's. <laughs> sorry. So you're gonna want to move that into your mod folder. So that's just another piece of. Sorry that I'm being antsy over here. You can see me doing this. Um, that's just another piece of furniture. That is your completed furniture. You're gonna move that package into your mods folder, and then it's complete. All right. Thank you guys so much. I love you so much. If this was confusing at all, please let me know and I will absolutely, you know, I'll, I'll get back to your comments. You can go into the discord and ask me about questions there. Of course, I'm happy to answer all your questions and I love you. Please don't think about Keely's package or do. Okay, bye.